very first video for the channel of Trekking Oz. So it's a product review. XTM air compressor. Um, picked this one up not long ago because our last vehicle we just sold uh, had a hard mounted air compressor in it. It was a Dr. Pro um, Dr. Air Pro Flow 150. Big mouthful. Um, but this time around, we decided to go for the XTM BCF member price $119. Can't go wrong. Um, the Dr. Air was a bit more than that, it was in the 200s. But most of these compressors come out of the same factory by the looks of it. Um, so here we go. As you can see, it is brand spanking new. Got a bit of weight to them. But there you go. XTM. This is the 150 PSI, 160 litres per minute. So a little bit less than the uh, the dual compressor. It's just a single. Doesn't pump up tyres as quick. But, you know, have a drink while you're doing it. Comes with the circuit breaker as well as the inline 60 amp fuse. Um, two metre long 12 volt cord, which is really nice, especially when you have it connected to your main battery and you're moving the compressor around from side to side as you're pumping up. Gives you a bit of length there, as well as a six meter hose. Now, with the six meter hose, like with all air compressors these days, they have one of these pretty crap built-in gauges. Um, they're not that accurate. You know, they're good enough to go off um, to get you out of trouble, get you pumped up. And if you don't have another gauge, I personally run another digital gauge. So once I'm close to the mark, I'll get the digital gauge on there and get it to where I want to get to. Um, this one, as opposed to some others, uh, has an additional attachment right there. And what it does, it converts from the screw on attachment to your valve to a press on fitting. Now, that's really good. Um, and the reason being, these fittings, when you screw them off after pumping up your tire, if you don't press in as you're screwing off, it lets out a whole bunch of air. So having this quick release fitting, you're basically on straight off, no air loss. Uh, makes life a lot easier. Like I said at the start, similar design to a lot of them. I think Kings do one, June 4x4, uh, Dr. Air Pro Flow, and the list goes on. Very similar. Got your air filter in here, which is a foam filter, simple as that. Um, they're washable, replaceable. This one has plastic handle, whereas some have got a foam handle. Much for a muchness between the compressors. On off switch circuit breaker, they're all in the same spot. You can unscrew these mounts down here um, and then hard mount it into a vehicle, a ute, whatever you've got. Um, the last one I had, I hard mounted into a plastic toolbox. Um, and that was great because it actually kept the compressor pretty safe, um, as opposed to this flimsy crap bag. Um, XTM aren't the only ones that do it. Every brand has comes out in one of these cheap bags, all probably out of the same manufacturer in China. But what you can do, go over to the lights of Drifter. Mate, they make some wicked canvas bags purely for air compressors. 
perfect size for them. You can get your hose in there, you can get your your cable in there, chuck your tie gauge, your whatever you got, whack it in one of the canvas bags by Drifter, mate, you won't go wrong. Wicked stuff. But other than that, it is what it is. I will be doing a test on uh, the old Pajero, um, we named PJ. So a test will be done on PJ, I'll let a tire down to nothing. So we'll go nothing to 40 PSI, see how long it takes. But then we'll go down to about, you know, 16, 18 PSI to mimic what it is when you say driving down the beach blow it up to 40 from there and just see how we go time-wise. Um, I expect it to be a few minutes and, you know, enough to have a beer and watch it go. So, thanks guys. First video, first of many. Um, let me know how I went.